What's going on you guys? This is Steven the KC Rail Fan here. So today I have a package that I got from Scale Trains today. My package was originally supposed to arrive over the weekend on Saturday, but my package was delayed and now it arrived just today as of Monday. So mostly because of the because of the snow we've been getting, because that's just my guess. Basically we've been getting snow around the Kansas City area and I live in the Kansas section, so I'm actually glad that this, my package finally arrived in scale trains, so, and I already, like, and I have it already opened, so, we're going to take a look and see what's inside. We can open this. This is the, probably my packaging slip, the invoice. And, we also got this brand new catalog, which has the Dash 9 on it. And here... Is what I ordered. This is a a GE Tier 4G, but I really love the new packaging on the Skeletor's Rivet Counter. Packaging's really nice. It's similar to see on the Dash 9s. So, so what I have here is a CSX Tier 4G boat, which is number 3440, Spirit of Ravenna. I'm actually really glad that Scale Trains finally made this and partnered up with the with the Kentucky Steam Heritage, so it's really nice that they finally offered this because you know Intermountain has not offered this yet, so Scale Trains finally did, and so I'm actually really glad to have this on my layout. So, so anyways, let's get on with the review and unboxing of this beautiful looking locomotive. All right, so we're getting on with the unboxing. They all also Scale Trains also sent me some candy here, which is like they sent me like. These three pieces of candy would be really cool. So thank you, Scale Train, for doing that. So enough of that. Let's go. So basically, all you gotta do is just slide it off like this. And I'm just set the lid aside. And right here, we have the operator's manual. And there's the foam protecting it. And there's the locomotive itself. Looks very stunning. So let's get that out of the box. And basically all you gotta do is just slide it out like this. And also right there, this little baggie right here. These are just extra protein bearing caps. Because for scale trains, rib counter, locomotives, and freight rolling stock. If the prototype has the rotating bearing caps, they will include these. So it's really cool. So we'll keep set that aside. And then you just on this side you just open it up. And, and then just pull it out and the locomotive comes out so, and also got these little protect things to protect the wheels so we're just going to get these off and there it is there's the locomotive itself so we're going to set the locomotive on the tracks and begin the review alright so starting off with the front the locomotive has Lots of really great details, like it's got the windshield wipers, grab irons, train line hoses, ditch lights, which are nicely done. I really love the steps, hand the handrails and everything. It's got the McHenry. It's got these scale trains, metal couplers, which are really cool. And there's the decal, the Spear of Ravenna, which is the Kentucky Steam Heritage Club, and got also got the LLN. And it says ET port for AH there, the DT everything. And plus it's also got the brand new PTC and antenna array. This is brand new for CSX. I really like this so much. It's pretty similar to what you see on the BNSF tier fours, so excellent root detail. Got the K5 HL horn, the angled exhaust. Which I think is really cool because this is a late version G tier four, and the radiator grills are nicely done. Plus the the radiators are also see through, so if you can see, not sure if you can see on the camera. Yeah, they're see through, so we're gonna put set it down. Fuel tank details really nicely done as well, truck detail wise, as well as the backs details. So this local one does not have 
rear ditch lights, so that's probably correct the prototype. And you hoses and couples in the back, so we're gonna put on the other side. Detail. It's got lots of really good details. The four window cab, which I really like the four window cab. Sunshades. Paint. The paint scheme wise is really nicely done. I think it's correct. And there's the Evo. The old tank detail is really nice as well. The truck details and everything. Roof details. So basically, I think my favorite thing about the Scale Trains Tier 4s I love is the see through area because I don't think Intermountain does that. But Scale Trains does. So this is a really cool. Great looking model. So we're gonna see how it runs right now. So ooh, the, and the headlights are LED, which is really cool because I really love the LED headlights on that they're adding, as well as the back side. This is absolutely one of the, a really nice locomotive. I I was really glad that Scale Trains was able to do a third run of these Tier 4s, so... Runs really nice, has the LED headlights, really good detail, matches the prototype correctly, and... And also... Every, and they have lots of see-through detail, like such as... The steps have really... have... Really good detail, see-through, the grills, everything, absolutely... Really nice look of Scale Trains is actually one of the best manufacturers. They do make lots of really nice locomotives so I really I would highly recommend them if you never heard of scale trains you should check out their products they're really cool they offer light it's really nice so after all we're not bad for the third run of the tier 4 Jeebos so yeah I really like this locomotive so much so they and scale trains did a great job on this so that's basically my review and my thoughts on the third run of the Scale Trains River Counter Tier 4 Jeebo. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And I'll leave you guys with a run-by. Alright, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye.